hello everyone in the previous video we learned that how we can create the subscription how we can add the drives and date in the subscription and now the time is to display the user subscriptions right so uh, users subscribe how many plans so we are going to display the users plans right so i have created a simple route subscription all and then this subscription all is uh, displaying a simple simple blade this one and i'm passing this intent so we don't need this intent anymore so let me remove this intent from there and then this one is a simple uh, simple table so let's get refresh and we have this only simple table great so now the time is to display the user subscription so how you can get the user subscription so here we are going to get the user subscription so there is a lot of method methods like you can get the thing in the subscription variable so how you can get the get this so you can get the login user okay like this and you can get its subscription gets its uh, subscriptions okay and uh, i think it's a property not method so here let's die dump this subscription okay so let me copy this and paste it here okay give it a refresh and yes it's uh, showing two subscriptions and user have two subscription and great it's returning this uh, os and then second one so user have also two subscriptions here right os and o5 great so there is another helper so if we are going to uh, retrieve the user how you can play around uh, the subscription model which is which uh, comes with the laravel cashier so let me open the uh, subscription for you to understand it better that uh, what uh, what are the methods which are available in this uh, uh, subscription model there is a lot of methods available here so this is a subscription method and it's extending the model so here it's uh, using with method with item so this item is loading this this uh, item so this is the pivot table okay and if you want to load more you can add this here like you want to uh, eager load the plans so we are going to use this eager load this here plans so we need to first build the relationship and then we are going to use this so if you want to get the user of a subscription so you can call this simply user so it will return the owner behind the scene okay and how it's getting the owner so it will get this through this okay and if you want to call this item so it will uh, call this item you can call this item method great okay and there is other methods so let's go here and implement this so you can also grab this so uh, like uh, let me go here and uh, you don't need to do this like this you can use this as a laravel model subscription like this subscription laravel cashier right so hit enter so it will add this at the top and uh, yes it's added and let's go here and here i want to get all the subscription so you can get the all subscriptions but i want to get the logged in user subscription so you can check that where user id equal logged in user so there is a helper which is return auth id so it will return the login user id great okay and i want to get apply the get method because i want to get the all user subscriptions it will also return the two subscriptions so go here and give it a refresh and yes it's turning two subscriptions it means that we are successfully getting the subscriptions of user so let's go here and uh, pass this subscription here right in the compact method compact and uh, let me copy this and uh, here. so we are turning the subscription here so let's go here and first check that we are getting the subscription and then we are going to perform the operation so here we are going to check that if the subscription no we are going to add this account here because we are getting the array right so it's checking that subscriptions if the subscription is greater than zero 
so then it will display this one right so if it is not greater than zero so it will display that uh, h4 knows you are not uh, subscribed to any plan please go to the subscription or you can attach the link here and redirect the user to a subscribe page right so it will not going to display this so let me add a negation condition so then it will true and uh, show us okay so let me remove this so okay i already removed this dry dump so it's going to display us uh, that your user are not subscribed to any plan great so our condition let me make this uh, wrong okay make this true not wrong and then it's going to display us a table and now i'm going to display all of the subscription here right so let me add the for each loop and this for each loop is responsible for these uh, subscriptions subscriptions and uh, let me pull single subscription and then display the display them into the td first i want to get the subscription name so subscription name is not directly uh, stored uh, i don't want to uh, show the name of this right so this name is available but this is the subscription name i want to display its plan name right so let's first display the name here so let me add another column here so first one would be the plan name and then other would be the subscription name okay it's a plan name and it's a subscription name okay so make this a little intuitive okay here we are uh, uh, displaying this subscription name so give it a refresh it will show here a subscription name so yes it's displaying default and it's displaying it twice time because we did not edit a tr here so it's not ending the row so it's displaying the two data so now it will display them into rows not columns and yes it's displaying great so now i want to get the user subscriptions plan so let me check the video size and yes it's going bigger but uh, make this 10 so i already told you that hope you are uh, learning a lot from this series okay so let's go to the subscription and here i want to uh, get the let's uh, let me go to the subscription mod oh i am in the subscription model so here i want to build a relation a relation right so it's a public uh, what why i'm doing this because i'm going to build a relation with the plans right so plan and i want to return this belong to one only this belongs to i'm going to use belongs to why because user because plan id is stored here so i need to apply a belongs to why it's not suggesting me let's so uh, do this so it's a plan uh, let's suggest me my text reader oh, it's not suggesting me so i need i don't want to add this manually and that's why i'm waiting for this to suggest me so it takes too my time okay um i will add this manually at the top so it would be a class uh, let me add this at the top so it's uh me use app slash subscription uh, i think it's uh, added in the model or not so let me pull that spot so, oh i'm referencing the plan not subscription so it's a plan and yes so go down 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 and uh, here where it is so let me find this where i'm creating the relation i'm creating the relation here and uh, then uh, my uh, next parameter would be the plan id why i'm referencing this plan id because this plan id is uh, stored here so this plan id is stored in the plans table 
right and uh, this uh, not this one this stripe id and this plan id is same okay wait for a moment and uh, this one is a plan id and this plan id is stored here as stripe price right 05 and yes 05 okay so i reference this plan id and then what is the next it's a price id okay let me double verify it's stripe price not price id it's a stripe price save this one and uh, yes let me close this one so i want to load the plan right so go here and uh, let's uh, reload this here so it's a uh, plan and i want to get the plan name so give it a refresh and check that we are getting the plan name and stuff like that okay okay attempt to read property name on hmm name on null so it means that we are not getting the plan name so why i think i did a mistake here i need to make the has one relation so then it's going to read the plan name hmm because and yes now it's reading the plan name because our uh, foreign key is there so that's why it is playing like this so now our plan name is there right so how we can eager load this so let's uh, go here let me copy this and go to this uh, with method and here you need to add this because we are going to eager load this so hope you already know about the eager loading so let's go here and display the other fields here so video is going bigger so oops I did a mistake okay so the first one is subscription name and then it's a price it's a plan price plan price okay then it's a quantity is directly available here quantity and then it would be a trial and it's at okay it's good and it would be a created at so save this one give it a refresh and check that to oh, quantity and yes these are goods so it will display and uh, yes it's displaying the exactly it's starting date and ending date trial starter date is not to uh, getting this because it's uh, um, i did a spelling mistake trial and state so now it will display this so you can also change the format but i'm not going to do this in this video because it's this video is going bigger and yes it's displaying everything we need so user have subscribed these uh, subscription and we are displaying the user subscription so you can also uh, read uh, many more things from this subscription model so hope you learn a lot so i will meet you in the next one bye bye If you like this uh, video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay connected. Bye-bye.